the strange myth of the golem. Uh, the golem is a well what you do is you get some um, sand or some clay some dirt you um, make the formation of a man and then uh, you spit in your hands uh, and then I don't know use your spit in order to put all the sand together and uh, you have breathed the breath of life into it and then it comes alive and it's a real live person this is how you create a golem and it's supposed to be in Hebrew lore L-O-R-E in Hebrew mythology In Lord of the Rings, they had a character who was a golem. But it wasn't the same meaning. The golem Smeagol, who said, Precious, I need my precious. Um, when I looked it up, they said that uh, the golem previous to that had been a hobbit. So it transformed into a golem. What's the difference between... Well, I know you have to see those characters. Golems seem to be more likely to hang out with orcs than hobbitses. Because they, you know... Well, he was charmed by that... The ring. And the ring is like an amulet kind of magic. And... It changed the personality of the person who was near it. The one ring to rule them all. Anyways, back to golems. If you are interested in anything to do with uh, jotting things down. You could make little videos like this. Stuart Wilde, the metaphysical author, um, recommended that his uh, students jot things down when they were good ideas. And, you know, making videos might be easier, you know, as a video diary for you as to things that you come across each day that are, you know, things you want to talk about. For posterity, you know, or, you know, if you're searching for someone who wants to be, like, know who you are, um, you know, they could watch a bunch of episodes of you and decide whether they want to invite you to go on a date or something, or, they're, you know, they decide you're not the right one. I mean, it could save a lot of time in dating if you, uh, you know, found other people via the internet or, you know, your type or something. <laughs>